session 2019, the second one is size number two. So consider a mechanical oscillator from the string of negligible mass. And where the spring constant is K, you have the object S of mass M. The aim of this exercise is to determine K and M. So the spring is placed horizontally connected from one of its extremity to a support, support. And then S is attached to another extremity of the spring and may slide without friction on horizontal wave. So G is on, along the axis X or X and we must, we must pay attention to the opposite direction. At equilibrium G coincides with the origin O. So S is shifted from its equilibrium position and then released without initial velocity at T0 equals to zero. Here I can write the initial condition. This means at T0 equals to zero. I have X is equals to, so and then released. S performs also mechanical oscillations. So it's uh, shifted from its equal position. This means I can say that X is equal to Xn. Now, the horizontal plane containing G is considered as reference. This means I don't have a height, so PEG is equal to zero. So here I can say that PEG is equal to zero. The differential equation that describes the motion is of the form 2x double prime plus 200x equal to zero. So the first question showed that using the differential equation showed that the motion of G is simple harmonic. In order to have a simple harmonic motion, the equation must be of the form x double prime plus omega zero square x equals to zero. So if we compare these two equations, if we notice here, I can divide by two. So we'll get here by dividing by two of the whole equation, x double prime plus, plus 100x is equal to zero which means it's of the form x double prime plus omega zero square x equal to zero, then it's a, a, the motion of G is simple harmonic. Calculate the value of the proper angular frequency omega zero. So by identification, by identification, both equations, I can say that omega zero square, so here we go, omega zero square is equals to 100 which means that omega zero is equal to radical 100, which is 10 radian per second. We continue. The time equation of motion of X is of the form X equal XM omega zero, XM cosine omega zero T, where XM is the amplitude. The first question is write the expression of V in terms of XM omega zero and T. So we must find V, we have X. So simply we say V is equal to the derivative of X, which is equal to XM, and here we have a minus omega zero cosine omega zero t plus uh, omega zero t. This means this is the this is v in terms of time. Part two two using the expression of x and v show that omega zero square is this way. So write x x equal x m cosine omega zero t, and we'll write v minus x m omega zero. So here we have sine, the derivative. So omega zero sine omega zero t. And here, if we notice, so this is minus, if we notice, I want to write omega zero square in terms of v squared x m squared and x squared. This means I don't need to have, I have, I must get rid of cosine and sine. So this means I can say that cosine square omega zero t is equal to x square over xm square. Same thing here, sine square omega zero t is equals to v square over xm square and omega zero square. So here, what do we have? But in math, we know that cosine square alpha plus sine square alpha is equals to one. So by substitution, we'll get x square over xm square plus v square over xm square. Omega zero square is equal to one. Now the question is to find omega zero square. So what should we do now is to take a common factor or a common denominator. Then we'll get here as answer. So uh, we take as common factor, x, uh, common denominator xm square omega zero square, and we'll still have x square plus v squared equals to one by cross multiplication plus v squared equal xm squared and omega zero squared. But the question is to find omega zero squared in terms of, so I can take omega zero squared the second uh, part. So we'll get as, if we take it as common factor, 
x m square and minus x square omega zero square equal to v square common factor omega zero square so equal v square and it's over all which is x m square minus x square then it's verified now part three applying uh so this is to, to part three, applying the principle of conservation of mechanical energy of the system, show that x squared is equal to a v squared b plus b, a and b are constant to be determined in terms of k, m, and m e. So by applying the law of conservation, we know that m e is equal to constant since there's no friction, but we know that m e is equal, so if I want to put m e, it's k e plus p e e, so it's equals to constant, which means half mv square plus half kx square is equals to this constant. So equal to me. Now, if I want to write, if I want to write it in terms of, so the question is, I want to write uh, the equation in this form. I must have x square equal in terms of v square. So here we have. So this means half kx square equals to m e minus half m b square. I want to have x square. So we'll multiply by two and divide by k. So we'll get here x square equals two m e divided by k and minus two and two are simplified. So we'll still have minus k m minus m over k divided by k v square. So by uh, this means x square is equal to minus m over k v square plus two m e over k. Now, if we compare, we we compare the equation, which is x square equal a v square plus b. We'll notice that a the slope is minus m over k, and v is two m e over k. That's it. We continue, document six shows x square as function of v square. So this is x square in terms of v square. And we uh, already have, so I write the equation that we uh, already get. We get that x square is equal to minus m over k v square and plus two m e over k. We said so the form here, a v square plus b. Now, the first question, part 41, calculate xm. So in order to calculate xm, we have xm squared. It's using the document. So if we use the document, we have xm squared is equals to 4 times 10 power minus 4. That's it here. Times 10 power minus 4 meters square, which means that xm is equals to 2 times 10 to the power minus 2, 2 times 10 to the power minus 2 meter which is equal to two centimeter. Now part four to calculate again the value of omega zero. So if we uh, look at the figure, in order to calculate the value of omega zero, we have, we already uh, uh, find the equation of omega zero square, which is equal to V square over XM square minus X square. So at T, I have X equals to zero for, x squared equal to zero, okay, for x is equal to zero. I have v is equal, v squared is equal to 0 0.04, here, this point, which means that v is equal to 0 0.2 meter per second. So I took a point on the line and then I can substitute. I have xm, I have v, I have x, so it will be equals to, this means by substitution, I will get omega zero square equal to 0 0.04 over four times 10 power minus four and minus zero, which will give us that omega zero square is equal to 100. This means omega zero equal to 10 radians per second, the same answer that we got before. Now part five, determine the values of K and M, knowing that ME is equal to 0 0.04 joules. So in order to find the value of k and m, we can take, we can use uh, the equation and uh, say in this case, 
So K and M. So by using the equation, we have at T equals to zero, V zero is equal to zero, as we said, and XM, it's constant. So it's equal to two times 10 power minus two meter. But we already know that the mechanical energy is constant, which means an E is equal to KE plus PEE. And ME, it's given by 0 0.04. KE at equals to zero, then it's equal to zero. And plus half KXM squared. Since at equals to zero, we have the maximum uh, elongation. And here we have XM, we still have to find K which means that K is equals to 200 Newton per meter. So we only substitute. Now we still have to find the mass. In order to find the mass, we can say now, we can take now another point. So this is the first point we took for T equals to zero. Now another point we can take for X, when X is equals to zero, this means at the last point, I can say that the mechanical energy also is conserved. So the mechanical energy is Ke plus PEE, but I will take for X equals to zero. So if X is equal to zero, this means PEE is equal to zero, but the speed is maximum. So this is zero, we'll have 0 0.04 is equal to half MV square, where, M, where V square is equals here to 0 0.04. And then I can find the mass, we'll get that M equals, so by substitution, we'll get M equals to two, Kilogram.